Hello, everyone. Muy buenos días. Uh, my name is Najin. I'm with uh, Customer Success at Survey CTO. We are very excited to welcome everyone to this webinar. Um, today, we're going to learn about IPA Peru's experience with Survey CTO's WhatsApp field plugin to improve response rates. Uh, for this, we have Alexa and Juliana from IPA as presenters of this webinar to share their experiences. And today's webinar is being recorded and the recording will be shared with everyone via email early next week. So again, welcome everyone. And thank you for uh, taking the time to join us today. Now, without further ado, I'll hand over to my colleague, Lindo, who will start off with the presentation. Thank you so very much, Nanjin, and hello. Good uh, afternoon, good evening uh, to all of you. Thank you again for making the time to join us today. As Nanjin mentioned, we are super excited to have a uh, packed presentation for you guys uh, featuring our friends and partners from Innovations for Poverty Action in Peru. As Nanjin mentioned, I have a poll here um, that I would like for all of you to take a moment and respond to during the session. Um, we'll keep it open until the end and we want to give you an opportunity to just share your knowledge as well as your experience when it comes to the topic that we're gonna be discussing today. So let me make sure that is available. Um, you should all be able to see that now. Um, I will also share that um, we, we do have a feedback survey that my colleague will share much later on that I kindly ask that you all take a minute, either during the session or after the session to please respond to that. We very much appreciate your feedback and we'd love to learn more about what will be helpful for us to do in these webinars and what what, what other topics you will be interested in learning more about. Um, now, as a moderator, I think my job is, is quickly just to introduce you to our presenters um, and then I will let them take it away. So I'll start first with Alexa Ayarza, um, who is a research associate at IPA Peru. She's an economist who graduated from the Pontifical Catholic University of Peru. Currently, she's involved in a randomized controlled trial examining the impact of science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, which is STEAM education, on enhancing skills and knowledge amongst high school students in Belize. She's also worked on various projects centered on education, early childhood development, and migration-related issues. And then our second presenter is Juliana Campos, who is a senior research associate also at IPA Peru. She's also an economist who graduated from the National University of San Marcos in Peru. Um, and during her time at Peru, she has worked on projects on gender education and governance, amongst others. She has experience in the design and implementation and evaluation of randomized controlled trials in Peru and elsewhere. Currently, she is in charge of a census project in collaboration with the Ministry of Education in El Salvador on parental migration with the goal of identifying policy actions that can mitigate negative effects. Previously, she's also worked on telephonic uh, surveys and census projects for women who are at risk of intimate partner violence in rural areas. Uh, with that, I will hand over to both Alexa and Juliana to take it away. Thank you, Lindo. Uh, well, uh, good morning or Good afternoon, everyone, depending on where you are joining us from today. Uh, thank you so much for attending this webinar. Uh, my name is Alexa Yarza, and as Lindo said, I am an economist from Pontificia Universidad Católica del Perú. And for the past three years, I've been working at Innovations for Poverty Action in the Peru office. Uh, during this time, I've worked in various projects focusing particularly or migration, early childhood, and mostly education. I'll now pass it over to Juliana to introduce herself. Hi, Owen. So I'm Juliana Campos. I'm working as a PA Peru. So I'm working in projects related to education, gender, and governance. And I'm very excited to share our slides. Today, we'll explore how the use of WhatsApp, uh, specifically the WhatsApp plugin, can make a difference in the response rates during data collection. So we'll share our experience from a project we work on at IBA. And I think it's this topic is relevant to all of us because while service CTO is essential for data collection, understanding and using all its tools 
smartly can significantly enhance the outcomes. About the structure of our presentation, we'll first provide an overview of the context in which we work and the specific project we focus on. Then we'll explain how we integrated the plugin into our uh, project and the results we achieved. And finally, we'll share the lessons we've learned and in, in all this process. So uh, IPA is an NGO focused on conducting rigorous research to find effective strategies for improving the lives of people affected by poverty and inequality. So how do we do it? How we expect to improve the lives of these people? We have, we work with these three main pillars. First, we generate solid evidence. Uh, here we work closely with professional investigators who wants to evaluate interventions and see which ones truly help in reducing poverty and inequalities. Secondly, uh, we want to go beyond research. We just don't want to stay in generating the evidence. We want to spread it. So the policy area actively share the best findings with policymakers and governments. And lastly, we understand that evidence alone isn't always enough. So it's crucial to equip uh, the, the decision makers with the tools and knowledge needed to implement these findings. So where we work, as you can see in the slide, we have a lot of offices around the world. IPA has its main office in Washington DC and New York City, but also has offices in more than 20 countries, such in Peru, Colombia, Ghana, Philippines, and we also have projects in more than 30 countries. For example, in the Peru office, we uh, just not only work in, in projects in Peru, but also projects in Belize, Ecuador, Paraguay. Now that I've introduced IPA, uh, I want to dive into the project uh, we used at the WhatsApp line. In this project, we collaborated with the World Bank. Uh, the goal was to enhance principal's ability to instill confidence and security among educational actors in the context of the pandemic and the school reopenings. So this way we could increase the student and teacher attendance. So in this project, the intervention where the intervention was a training focusing on soft and hard skills to principals and teachers. And as the goal was to see the increasing in the attendance of the school actors and their involvement in the schools, we had service for the principals and teachers. And here the, the teachers had phone service every week. So this way we could see their attendance and their commitment with the classes. And also we could ask for the uh, student attendance. And regarding the school principal survey, we had three phases, uh, the baseline, the midline, and the end line, and they also were fun service. But uh, after this, because we couldn't find any effect, we had this phase called discretional choice experiment, which was self-administered uh, in, with, um, among the principal. So this phase aimed to identify which types of incentives could potentially influence the principals to increase the likelihood of school reopening. So this experiment involved presenting various uh, scenarios to principals. Each scenario, as you can see in, in the slide, had different attributes. With only three of these attributes uh, were changing between the scenarios. So they were shown a total of 15 images where principals had to choose between these two scenarios. So in this phase, uh, it was self-administered. We had to send the link with, with the salary via WhatsApp to the principals using pl a platform to massive sendings and for the principals to reply the survey, we conduct a first strategy. So we had our survey program in survey CTO, where these images that you could see in the last slide were attached. 
And we had our group of surveyors who their, ta their task was to call the principals to talk about the project. And then we are going to send a WhatsApp with the survey link. And then we send the, mass, the, the massive WhatsApps to all the principals who agreed to reply the survey, meaning that we had their consent. So as you can see, uh, we had to wait until the end of the day where the callings were finished to have the list of the principals that we had to send the survey. So it was not an immediate sending the link to the principal. And we could see a disadvantage in there. And yes, we had responses, but they were not enough. So we conduct the second strategy. And here Juliana will talk about the, the second strategy that where we set the, the WhatsApp plugin. Uh, just in reply, as Alexa mentioned, we were just making call reminders. But with the second strategy, we implement the use of uh, WhatsApp and SMS reply. And that once the call ended or call reminder, the surveyor send a reminder message plus the survey CTO link if the principal school agree. And there is our new feature for this strategy. And additionally, we still send the DC survey via Twilio, um, like a bot. And what are the reasons to use the service CTO plugin? We have three reasons. First, sending me message through the bot are not immediate. First, the reminder survey need to arrive at service CTO server. And the next reason is the WhatsApp and SMS applying are easy to use and can be quickly implemented in the middle of the fieldwork. And the last one, IPA team believes the uh, use of SMS applying because uh, some teachers of principal schools are located on rural areas, they didn't have the um, WhatsApp app. There's an example of what's applying in service city of programmation. We made a calculate uh, message WhatsApp in which uh, use a concatenate function between a little introduction and the service city link. After that, uh, it's always to use a variable launch WhatsApp in which we use the plugin itself. Well, we use WhatsApp and SMS plugins to remind the principal schools to the, uh, fill out the DC survey. Uh, each uh, message or each links are customized by each principal schools because they have an associate ID. And well, what are the results? Our results in the project, uh, we have three results, our principal results, and IPA team tested multiple strategies in order to take a uh, to increase the take up. Fieldwork is a process of continuous learning. So we increase the responses with the implementation of WhatsApp plugin in 35 percentage points. And we increase the responses in 0.4 percentage points with the use of SMS plugin. And the last one, as a last effort of IPA team, we send a massive sending via Twilio or bot. And we see an increase of responses in one percentage point. And there is a, our final learnings. We have three final learnings. First, faster responses. With the use of WhatsApp or SMS applying, the responses arise faster given the use of this plugin. There is no much waiting time of the part of the respondent. So we can see a high connection in schools. The response through WhatsApp was more effective than the SMS message. This could indicate that the internet connection has been an important variable for school environments, at least for the Peruvian case. And mixed strategies. If we had only sent both message without prior information or call reminder, we wouldn't have achieved as many responses. So combining a reminder calls with instant WhatsApp me message from the surveyors, uh, we improve to be a more effective strategy. And we have uh, some additional resources, how to use the WhatsApp and SMS plugin, a Sari City of blog of WhatsApp plugin, and how to use the CATI, 
And the last point is related to a paper project, school management and governance support during an emergency. Final discussion, and you can see our emails. Thank you so very much, Juliana. Thank you, Alexa. Powerful presentation just about the impact uh, from, from adding just a simple tool um, to your workflow, being able to see such great results. Um, so appreciate your presentations. Um, looks like I see a few people raising their hands. Please use our Q&A feature if you would like to ask questions from our presenters. So we're going to do sort of a quick discussion. But before we do that, um, thanks to everybody who responded to our poll. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the poll now, and I will share the results very shortly. Um, essentially, we had a few questions. So let me go ahead and share the results that you should all be seeing them now. So in the first question, we asked folks if in their teams they've uh, utilized WhatsApp as a platform sort of as part of their survey workflow for any purpose. Um, and it looks like an overwhelming 53% of folks say they have not um, tested this strategy yet, but actually 43% have um, and 3% were unsure. So I think for our presenters, it seems that there's a really great opportunity here for folks who maybe have not considered the utilization of WhatsApp to be able to sort of bring it into their workflows using sort of the plugin like the the one that you guys shared, but maybe other tools that uh, that could be available. Um, and I think we'll gladly share some resources that we have for folks who are sort of thinking about how to incorporate uh, WhatsApp into sort of their survey workflows. Uh, and in the second question, so we we asked. Uh, uh, I think this is obviously relevant to folks who have used WhatsApp. Um, we wanted to find out if uh, folks have had actually used the plugin itself. And uh, unsurprisingly, uh, almost 90% of you have not, um, but about 10% of you have. So I think, again, this this uh, makes the presentation even more relevant, I think, for the folks we have in the room as we sort of share it as a resource and, and, and give people um, some tools that they can use uh, to utilize these tools to further improve their workflows. Um, so with that, I'm going to ask a couple of questions uh, from both of you, Alexa and Juliana. Um, feel free to take these questions um, however you feel. Um, and I just want to, to get a little bit more understanding sort of about what uh, what tips you think you guys can share with the folks who are in the room today who are looking to utilize the tools that you have. So my first question is, um, Clearly, you you guys, you know, you, it looks like in the project you came to a point where you were running into some challenges um, with sort of very low response rates and sort of the lag um, that you mentioned, sort of between when um, when you you would be able to send the the the, the link to the to the survey to your principals uh, between then and and when your your sort of your enumerators were on the phone with them getting confirmation. Um, so clearly a challenge and, and it seems like you were able to find a way to get around it, but curious, what are some other big challenges that you, you can share with the folks today that you ran into as you were sort of working on this workflow and as you were planning um, this project? I think it might be helpful for folks to understand what are some additional challenges that they can anticipate as they think about um, the use of WhatsApp in their survey workflows? So um, Juliana, Alex, I'll, I'll let you guys take the question however you want to. Another big challenge, uh, what challenge we face with appliances, we have no way of knowing if the surveyors have sent the link or not. Also, there is a, we don't know if they cl click it on. We have to rely on what surveyors work. So at the end of the day, they had to report in an Excel how many links that had sent. And if a team cross-checked that information or Excel this with the calls that made. So mm -hmm. we think uh, it would be better if the plugin give us a calculate field with a, whether the button was clicked or not. So but we monitoring that information. Alexa, anything to add? No, that, that was the, the main challenge we face in, in the field. Awesome. Great. I think that's 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 great for again for folks to keep in mind as they're planning their workflows. Um and then my second quick question is just again, based on this experience um and, and the rollout of uh, WhatsApp for this particular project, um, what other tips that you guys think you can share? What are the things you did you discover along the way? Um, that again, you want people to to keep in mind um, as they think about sort of uh, rolling out WhatsApp um, either through the plugin or maybe other ways um, as part of their survey workflows. Anything at all 
Yes. Um, so if you have the chance to use WhatsApp, uh, please use it because we had other experiences in IPA using WhatsApp and it's always uh, good for the project. We always receive more uh, more responses. Also, if, if you want to use the Sarvi CTO plugin, please, uh, you the Sarvi CTO plugin will connect with your WhatsApp. So if when you click on the button, it will the the uh, a chat will open with the number. So if your surveyors are using this this plugin, please take care of the pictures of the profile pictures they they have. Maybe you will want to be seen professional. Also, because the the chat with the number will be open. Uh, from Sarvi CTO, it's necessary to include the country code and, and plus the phone number in the calculate field. As otherwise, the, the message cannot be sent. So those are the tips I have. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, great tips. Uh, Julian, anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, no for me, sorry. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you both. Um, I think those are my quick questions. Um, I want to make sure we attend to the folk, to the questions that our folks are putting into the Q&A. Um, if you do have questions, if anything came up during the presentation and that you're wondering about it, you'd like to hear more from the team, um, please make sure you put your question in the Q&A. Before I turn to that, I just want to make sure I share some resources for any folks who are looking to learn more about Service CTO. Um, so if you are new to Service CTO, if your organization is looking to adopt Service CTO and is curious sort of about what our offerings are, I highly encourage you to reach out to our business development team. Uh, we have great folks there who will gladly um, respond to you very, very timely and we'll, we'll be happy to sort of help, help you explore sort of what, what uh, our offerings are and how we might potentially be able to meet your needs. So my colleagues, Maria and Catherine will gladly be happy to help you out. So please feel free to send an email to info at Sobacetio at any time. Um, and if you are an existing user, um, you, you you might already know that we have 24 seven support that's available in our support center. Um, if you have any questions, uh, particularly about WhatsApp, the use of what's other WhatsApp plugin or any of our other, other plugins, um, we highly encourage you to reach out to the team, um, very highly responsive and available 24 seven. Um, and finally, if you are a community user, part of our community, uh, forum, you, you can gladly post your questions there as well. Um, it's a, it's a great communal way to get help from other folks and also to contribute to helping other individuals who are working with Survey CTO. And then if you aren't already following Survey CTO across all of our social media platforms, I highly encourage you to, uh, we share exciting updates, including events like this one. Um, and it's a great way also to reach out to us if you have any questions or if you see something that's interesting. Um, so we're available, um, across all the platforms. Just search at Survey CTO and you should be able to find us. Thank you.